Kaisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers. All of my new subscribers, thank you, thank you. You are appreciated. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, of course, subscribe. Okay, um, Virgos, this is a general energy check-in. It's not going to resonate with all of you as there are a lot of you in the collective. So take what resonates with you and discard the rest. Do not try to force to shoot a fit. It will only confuse your ass. And I want that and neither does spirit. So if it's not your reading altogether, that's cool. Click the notification button. I'm sure spirit will have something for you at another point in time. Or feel free to reach out for a uh, personal reading and we can bang that out and get it done. Get your own answers and clarity for your own unique situation. Okay, I got you, I got you. So all that information and more is located in my description box. Oh, thank you all for your good karma donations, for your warm wishes for my recent engagement, uh, for your hitting me up on the live tarot line, your harmonic wave, and for keeping my ass busy with these personal bookings. I appreciate the love. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, if you are, like I said, new to the channel and you want to know where you can reach out for a reading, all that information and more is in the description box. Okay. Plug over. Let's jump into the reading. So I did a personal reading today and I was feeling a little bit cute. So yeah, I'm just, I'm chilling. Tarot is where I get to relax. Today was a busy day. So um, yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this. So this is a continuation of my series, 5D Convo. So this is just having a conversation with spirit. But it is in alignment with the concept of the splitting of the two earths. So old earth and new earth. And that is just moving into a space of higher consciousness, 5D, fifth dimensional living. And that is being conscious and aware or woke as fuck. Okay, on what's going on with yourself, what's going on in your life realizing that we're all connected and there is a reason for the season okay that you are a soul creating a human experience and not the other way around you are energy okay so let's get into the cards here these are just messages that spirit wants you to know if you resonate with these in any way you are already on your way in your ascension process to uh, moving into 5d reality 5d consciousness or you're already there okay put the energy where it goes so for love okay so I'm gonna be talking a little bit about love finance career spirituality health and of course advice from spirit so for love you have eight of Pentacles in reverse and two of swords in reverse I just need a drink of water. All of a sudden, my throat just feels like itchy. Virgo, what's what's going on? What's going on? It looks like you are... So we're going to pull clarifying cards together. But you could be having a hard time deciding right now if you... For some of you, there is a small group of you that you already made up your mind that you're not moving forward with someone. Uh, you may feel like this person is lazy or they're not putting the not right amount of time, energy, effort into the relationship. But there is an element here of losing confidence, losing respect for someone, lo losing confidence in a relationship moving forward. But you can't really decide. There is some fear or doubt here that things will change or that the right amount of effort will be put in. Someone feels like the person wasn't doing enough. They could have done more. Now, for those of you in this collective that are single, you may not be feeling all that, <laughs> I'm hearing zestfully. <laughs> zestfully, that's what I heard. What in the... But you may not be feeling motivated to go out and meet people. Some of you, you're still healing from old wounds, from things that have happened. You may wonder, be wondering if you're ready for it yet. Give yourself time. If you broke up from someone 
or things didn't work out and you need your time to heal and get right with you before you move on, then do that. A lot of times uh, we rush into things and we skip that part and that part is so important, okay? It's so important. That's where you go to get rid of the baggage. You don't want to go into anything with, with any emotional baggage from the past. Uh, some of you, you may be finally realizing that you need to let go of an ex. It's, it's not going to happen. This person just may not be the right one for you right now. Spirit, please clarify eight of uh, pentacles and two of swords in reverse. Hmm, there it is. There it is. Some of you just realized, you know what? <sighs> this is not it. Wow, without a shadow of a doubt that this is not it. Some of you, you learned a lot with somebody. Mm -hmm. Now, you may not be telling someone that... You're not really using your intuition either, Virgo. What's up with that? You're not saying something because you're not really sure. You know what it is? You're in this, um, your energy goes back and forth. So one minute you're in your head and you're like, you know what? I'm going to do better than this. I need better than this. This is not going to cut it for me. And then after you go back to, well, what if things do get better? And you keep going back and forth like that. But I feel like for some of you, you know inside that deep down inside that it would be better for you not to talk to someone anymore. Mm -hmm. But you keep going back and forth because you're not listening to yourself, Virgo. Listen to your intuition. Listen to your higher self. What do you feel, you know? How do you feel? That's important. They're indicators of what's going on. But you may be feeling, Virgo, that someone is not putting in the right amount of effort, time, energy, the things that are needed to build a long-lasting, real relationship. You may feel like someone's not doing that. So you're tired of it. Deep down inside, you're tired of it. Some of you, you're tired of talking. You're tired of talking about the same thing. I just heard in a, in a no long argument. You're done. Some of you are tired of talking about the same fucking thing over and over again. I'm going to pull one more, Spirit. Can I get one more clarifier for Eight of Pentacles in reverse and Two of Swords in reverse? It's like it, because you you keep going back and forth, Virgo, because you're not listening to yourself. It's like you don't really trust yourself. But the proof is in the pudding. You, it's like you already seen what you needed to see with this person because there's resentment here mm -hmm, of things that were supposed to have been done or things that were done, things that said were, they were going to be done and they weren't done, promises that were made and broken, empty promises, period. Virgo, don't let me have to talk the things. Yeah. Virgo, some of you, you're not using your intuition about what truly makes you happy. That's why you keep going back and forth. Some of you could have broken up with this person, got back with them, like, and it's just like this cycle back and forth over and over. That's why it's like you know now. You know better. Deep down inside, you know what the fuck to expect from this person because you always do this. This is your dance. Hmm. Virgo. But you're, it's like you're being asked to really evaluate what true happiness, what true fulfillment is for you now. Mm -hmm. For you now, Virgo. Okay? Because now is the only thing that matters. I don't know who I was supposed to say that to. Hmm. So when it comes to finance and career, you got six of cups. Okay, so when it comes to your finances, career, 
some of you as you get older you're realizing that maybe you should leave some stuff for your kids <laughs> for those of you who have children you could be looking into a will mm -hmm. some of you you could be you you may be hearing from some it's bad but it's good right um uh, an inheritance from someone passing away you know like a godmother grandmother grandfather mm -hmm. someone it was a really close friend of the family uh they left you something you're going to be getting a message about are uh, getting some kind of package or an envelope i'm seeing an envelope mm -hmm. But this inheritance is going to be passed down. Someone is going to be getting a large amount of money. You are going to get the deposit on your house. Mm -hmm. Someone left it to you or you're going to be getting a home. Someone left it to you or a car. Someone's leaving someone's grandson a car. Mm -hmm. For those of you that have been debating, if you should change your career and you want to go into something with children or um, working with kids, disadvantaged kids, go for it. Yeah, go for it. This is what fills your cups. You want, you want to do meaningful work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When it comes to your career and your finances, Virgo, you're looking, I'm, I'm feeling like nestled. Like you want to make sure that you're stable, that you're secure, that you're comfortable. And, and you're looking at things like that, working on things like that, uh, making investments, working with people, team projects. You're realizing the value of working with people. For some of you who are this... I'm hearing well off, you're feeling more philanthropic, <laughs> philanthropic, mm -hmm. uh, maybe even starting charities or you start, you want to donate to charities, but you're giving more. Now, you, you know what it is, right? So the universe wants to bless you. So you feel like you want to give more. That's tapping into your higher consciousness. This is just that continuing flow of being connected to source, okay? This is a 5D conversation. So you feel good inside, so that shows in what you're manifesting because I always say when you're happy, you create happy things, okay? When people people feel abundant, create abundance in their life and they give it away and then the universe gives it back to you because the universe is like, well, you got you got a lot of love to give. Sorry, I'm throwing, throwing away my, um, my water. So we're going to give it back to you. So a lot of you, you may be giving right now or you're being asked to give right now so that the universe can give it back to you. Or you could be on the receiving end of whoever is getting that inheritance. This is karma repaid in kind. You did some really good things either in a past lifetime or this lifetime. And Spirit's just like, okay, here, you deserve this. You deserve this. Spirit, can I get some clarifying cards for Six of Cups? Wow, okay, so there's a particular card that seems like it wants to come out if it comes out again i'm going to um i'm going to take it and it came out again and i took it and what virgo mm -hmm. some of you 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 may be meeting someone through work mm -hmm. And it turns into a romantic relationship. You could be working with your partner, your spouse, or meeting someone. Someone is going to meet someone through work, and it's going to be like a whirlwind romance. They're going to sweep you off of your feet. Yes. For some of you, this is an ex that's coming fucking back. Okay? Coming back. Mm-hmm. Now, maybe come back through... Uh, it has something to do with... Someone may try to give you something, Virgo, like give you money. Uh, try to get it, get on, get on your good side. I heard, mm -hmm. or offer you a job opportunity, or present something to you. This could, for some of you, this is. Uh, let's get a place. Let's buy a house together, or someone wants to buy a boat. Mm -hmm. 
It's, but some, it's something that can further you in your career or help you out financially. Someone wants to do that to try to bridge a gap. Yes, there's someone that loves your ass, Virgo. Mm -hmm. And they are willing to give you whatever you want. Because they don't like this disconnection. So if they have to come through the gate or the door of, let me give Virgo some money, then they're going to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Whose energy is this, Virgo? Because this is like, this is supposed to be career and finance. And this person, someone's energy is like, no, no, no. No, no, no. I want to talk to Virgo. Yeah. This person is not sure that it's going to work, but they're hoping. <laughs> They're hoping that it can get kind of skew you to see things their way. Mm -hmm. So if they have to come through that door of Virgo, let's work together. Okay. Someone may approach you on some, it could be like an MLM or some kind of job offer or support you in a business that you're doing. Someone's going to refer clients or, or customers. Are you it's like you're are you a masseuse? Someone's a masseuse, and it's because this person just wants to show you that they support you and they love you, and they they just want to show you that they want they want you, they love you. They don't like this disconnect. They don't like you not being together, and they're willing to come through any angle that they can. Yeah. And Virgo, I feel like you're in this energy of if you're talking to me, you need to talk more bucks. Because shit's getting expensive around here. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. When it comes to spirituality, you have seven of swords. Seven of swords in reverse. Hmm. Hmm. So when it comes to spirituality, Virgo, some of you, you need to be aware of the things you're listening to, the things you are watching, reading, uh, who you're speaking to. There is something here about, um, I'm hearing gurus, gurus. Not everybody that comes in my name. <laughs> so not everybody that says God is of God. Not everyone that says they are woke, are they the universe or the spirit. You have to listen to your intuition. And I do not like to tell people what to do, what they need to do, what they have to do. But it would be wise, okay? And wisdom comes from learning from past experiences. When to listen to yourself. Because not everything that everyone tells you is for your highest good. Someone around you may have an ulterior motive for why they're telling you, but they may be trying to come off like um, they're all spiritual or they're super religious and they know what they're doing. And uh, Listen to your intuition. Just because it works for them doesn't mean it's going to work for you. Spirituality, that's why it's called your individual spirituality, because it is customized to you. We're all unique here. Mm -hmm. There's no cookie cutter. My experience is going to be different from your experience. How what I went through during my ascension is going to be different from yours and my dark nutted soul because we all have different paths. We're all here to learn different things. Okay? With the overall concept, the overall theme of love, self love, we're all connected. Love makes the world go round. Okay? How, how did you learn that? <laughs> what did you go through to learn that? This is a 5D conversation, baby. Mm hmm. That's what it is. That's what's up. So when it comes to spirituality, Virgo, you are being asked to be aware that you are not, even for even as a tarot reader myself, I tell you, I tell everyone, think for yourself. Just because someone tells you something doesn't mean it's written in stone. Energy is fluid. Shit changes all the time. You know how many times I'm doing readings and I say something and all of a sudden this person, that person cross watchers energy changes and I pick it up and then it goes a different way. So just because someone says something to you, X, Y, Z is going to happen, doesn't mean that's going to happen. We have free will, the universal law of free will. So spirits just like, make sure you're always listening to your intuition and doing what's best for you because Virgo, you may have someone around you who may be trying to tell you things for their own ulterior motives. Okay. There's a reason for the season. 
And I, I feel like whatever it is, it may not be good for you or all that great for you. It, someone's trying to manipulate you or maybe trying to manipulate you. And they're coming from an angle of spirituality or religion. Oh. For those of you in this collective that are of the, the Twin Flame Collective, someone here could be telling you that you're a Twin Flame and this and that. No. There's a lot of channels on this YouTube in Terrorland, right? On Twin Flames. And some of them over-romanticize them. This is, I'm a 5D reader. I say it to you straight, okay? You may not like everything that I say. <laughs> What's that expression? You may not like me, but you will respect me. And, and that's what it is. I'm going to keep it a stack with you because I didn't come here to make friends with people. I'm a friendly person, so I naturally make friends. I attract people. And, and that's what it is. As within, so without. So I'm going to tell you the truth because I understand the universal law of karma. And I don't want no smoke from the universe unless it's good smoke. Okay? This is 5D living. This is me being uh, conscious and aware of my actions because I know that shit's going to affect something. Mm-hmm. So I'm making sure on the other end that I have, I'm going through my dharma now. Me done with the kick, the karma. Me done with it. Me done with it. So Virgo, be aware of oh, listening to tarot readers all the time. And you know what a good indicator of if, what world the tarot reader is from? If you listen to a reader and every time you listen to their reading, you feel tired or you feel shitty or you get angry or like, your vibe just goes down, you are not in 5D. That's not a 5D reader, okay? Because it's about empowerment. It's about sometimes the truth hurts, but it empowers you, okay? You will know the difference by how you feel. And, and you're going to realize that because a lot of you, you are starting to listen to your intuition. You're starting to listen to yourself. You're opening up. You're waking up. This is a 5D conversation, baby. Before in the past when you would think something or you'd feel a way and you wouldn't act on it and shit hit the fan and got all over everybody, you don't do that anymore because you learn now. Mm -hmm. I should listen to myself. If I get, get a bad feeling about something or I feel like something's off, I'm going to go with that this time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now... What I was saying about the twin flame, some of you, you could be, be aware of getting involved in communities where it's more cult-like than culture, okay? Let me say that again. It's more cult-like than culture slash community. Mm -hmm. Not even culture, community. It's more culty, less community. Be aware of those things. They they can happen, okay? You, it, you, you end up with a dynamic of a narcissist or a sociopath trying to take advantage of empaths light workers who are wounded and healing and just waking up and not really knowing what direction to go in and they find themselves being preyed upon so be aware listen to your intuition if something doesn't feel right virgo guess what it's not man it's not and if something does feel right it is as someone may be trying to control you. Mm -hmm. But I feel like uh, there's an aspect of you that knows that. There's something that you've learned about someone, Virgo, that you, you know that you know. And what you went through with this person, that was this was a sharpening of your knife. Okay? And by that I mean... Uh, you using your intuition, you following your gut feelings, you recognizing when someone's on some bullshit with you. And they always do this. And you're not falling for the bullshit anymore. You've learned this already. You're listening to your guides as well. Some of you are seeing signs, synchronicities, repeating number patterns, number sequences. Someone keeps hearing the same song. If you keep hearing a song over and over, that is guides, angels, ancestors. Listen to the lyrics of the song. It resonates with you. It pertains to you. There's a message in there for you. Mm -hmm. Some of you, you, you get like, a, you turn on social media and the post, the first post you see, 
Spirit's talking to you. You get messages all the time, Virgo. All the time. Some of you, I know for a fact you have up to six spirit guides around you. Um, I'm hearing um, soul family, galactic family for my star seeds in the collective. This is 5D living, baby. This is new earth. This is this is normal around here. Okay? Yes, it is. But you know, it's like you know. So be aware. It's like you know to be aware. Mm-hmm. Good for you. Good for you. Okay. That, uh, not everybody that says that they're spiritual or they're religious really are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So when it comes to health, you got King of Swords, King of Swords in reverse. Virgo, some of you may feel like if you're going through treatment for something or you're... You're going to be tested to get a diagnosis about something or get a second opinion or a first opinion about something. Spirit's saying to make sure you're being heard. Some of you may be feeling overwhelmed right now, like you're not being listened to. Uh, there's someone in this collective. You're, whoever you're seeing for your healthcare practitioner, provider, whatever. I'm not a doctor, okay? So check with them. But Spirit's saying if you have other ideas, like if you want to try some kind of uh, natural remedy or um, alternative healing modality, what's wrong with that, right? It's, it's remembering that you, this is 5D, okay? We're going to have a real conversation here. Now, I may get my shit flagged, but it is what it is, okay? I'm here to speak the truth, okay? So this is your, it's about remembering that you are sovereign. Okay, and it's your body. And if you don't want anything in your body that you don't want, you have a right to say that you don't want it. Okay? That's all I'm going to say on that one. Uh, some of you, if you have or you've been doing your own research, and this is about you getting better and feeling good within yourself. We are, you're recognizing the reality that you can heal yourself. We're supposed to. We're that powerful. Okay, but we we were taught, okay, in a lower dimension that you have to depend on other people to, to heal you and take care of you and, and, you know, and it's all for their greater good because everybody knows of, of Big Pharma. Everybody knows Big Pharma's not looking out to help people get better. They don't make money like that. It is what it is. So it's first like if you are being driven, drawn or guided to try ulterior uh, healing methods, modalities, natural healing remedies, go for it, okay? No harm, no foul. Like if you want to try different foods and stuff, that alkaline, drinking alkaline water with chlorophyll in it, uh, some of you, you may be guided to... Um, Switch from a meat, eating meat, to being a pescatarian or vegetarian or vegan or just plant-based. No harm, no foul. This is 5D, thinking outside of the box. You're sovereign. You, you really can do whatever you want, you know. You can. And if you don't want uh, something in your body or you want a second opinion before you agree to any treatment or anything like that, Spirit said you damn well have a right to do that. It's your body. You are sovereign. You don't know who that's for. But this is a 5D conversation, okay? Serious shit around these parts. Higher consciousness shit around this part of Tarot Land. Okay, I'm a 5D reader. <laughs> okay, let me see. Yeah, this is recognizing, recognizing your power and seeing the facts of things. If, if someone in this collective, if you want to speak up to your healthcare practitioner about maybe implementing some healthier natural remedies, and, and I see the I see it. I see the awakening because I've seen practitioners that have completely flipped to try um, essential oils and um, Reiki and like it's the the process is real, the shift is real, okay? It's happening. 
you know, I've been to a healthcare practitioner that was like, you know what, uh, instead of taking this medication, why don't you just go sit out in the sun and get natural vitamin D? Mm -hmm. It's like, what? You're not trying to push a prescription on me to make some money? That's someone who's waking up. There's other ways to heal you. There's better natural ways, less intrusive. You don't have to feel like you're not being heard. This is about your well-being and you have a say in this. Mm -hmm. Spirit wants you to realize that. You're responsible for your own healing. This is 5D reality. This is new earth. This is how it is over here. Okay? You heal yourself. It all starts from energy. You deal with the energy. You go to the energetic source and you deal with it from there. What's the root cause? Because we, like I said, we all know Big Pharma is about pulling a band-aid over a gunshot wound. So you keep coming back. You keep paying that money. So you have to make sure you're looking out for you when it comes to your health. Like for real, for real. <laughs> okay? Let me show you something here. You got Queen, Queen of... um. Air and King of Air came out to clarify King of Swords in reverse in terms of your health. So you're masculine and you have to be in alignment and be in union with yourself. Like, you know what? To be honest with you, I would like to try these remedies too alongside whatever, you know. Let's make it work because this is my health and I have a say in it. Mm hmm Someone in this collective is like, uh, if I'm going to die, I want to say how that's going to happen. Wow. This is recognizing that you're sovereign, baby. I love it. I love it. Spirit, anyone? Miss Spirit said, no, that's good. <laughs> that's good. You are in charge of your well-being. You are responsible for your life. This is a conversation, baby. Nobody's coming to save you. Okay. You're looking for Superman, Superwoman. Look in the mirror. Because it's you. Mm -hmm. So you better damn well and believe that you have a say. in. you have the final say in what happens. Okay? What's going to happen around this bitch? You feel me? Good job, Virgo. Good job. Spirit, uh, any other messages for Virgo? Any other messages for... Oh, okay, okay. So I'm going to pull some guidance and advice. This is from the Energy Oracle deck. Spirit, any last words of guidance and advice you have for the Virgo Collective? Thank you. The thinking man. Virgo, you're always thinking. <laughs> you're always in your head, uh, I just got this for um, Taurus. This is an earth sign thing. You you like to overanalyze shit, go through it, go under it. Like, whoa, whoa. What are you thinking about? Or what are you being told to think about? I'm going to find out because I'm nosy. <laughs> indulge me, Virgo. Indulge me. Spirit, please clarify the thinking, man. Please clarify the thinking, man. I feel like you're being divinely guided to think about something. Think about who you are and what you want. Think about what you are. Hmm. You're a soul creating a human experience. You're not a human that has spiritual experiences sometimes. No. We're all energy. All Everything. Everything is connected. Okay? That's why you can have universal laws because everything's connected. It's not a different law for this set and a different law not in this universe. It's, it applies to every motherfucking body around here. Mm -hmm. So Spirit wants you to remember and recognize what you are and your power, your uniqueness, your differences, the things that make you special. Mm -hmm. Like really be honest with yourself. Hmm. Some of you are... You keep going back and forth. You remember earlier in the reading about this love, this situation with someone? Spirit's so like, be honest with yourself about someone. You've seen what you needed to see with somebody. Okay? Someone showed their ass. Yes, they did. They showed their true fucking colors with you. Mm -hmm. Someone showed you that they really don't know who you are. They really don't get you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
They really don't know who you are. They don't know what you're about. But Spirit wants you to. Because remember, like attracts like. It is so apparent here. <laughs> okay? This is 5D. This is new earth living. This is how it is over here. Okay? In these parts. If you don't know yourself, it's, it's, you know what? It's like that everywhere, but it's more pronounced with you because you understand it. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's like once you know, you can't say that you don't know. Once you've seen it, you can't act like you haven't seen it. You can't unsee it. I know there's things we've been through and things we've seen in life where we wish we could, but it is what it is, baby. Mm -hmm. You're a lot stronger than you realize. You are a spark of source. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are. Now, people, some people might be like, oh, you're blaspheming. Okay, then I guess I am. Right? This is my reality. What's yours? Right? It is, it, as a spark of creator, a spark of the most high. You are most high. If you are a spark of God, you are God. You are a God. God is together. In union with yourself, masculine and feminine energies balancing, flowing in harmony. Chakras align like a motherfucker. What you mean? Virgo. Spirit wants you to think about those things. Remember what you are. And then show people who you are. Mm -hmm. Oh. Virgo. This is some time for a deep transformation for you. From the inside out. As you begin to recognize these things, as you begin to remember these things and wake up to your true power and potential and start walking in that bitch, whoo, child. It's a di different things are going on, okay? Different things are gone. Yes, 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 yes. Spirit wants you to think about that. Think about what you want for your life. What, what are your own ideologies? Not anybody else's. What anyone thinks your life should be like, what you should be doing. You know, by a certain age, what you should have, what you shouldn't have. No, this is your life. Okay, your thoughts, your, um, your words, your feelings, they create your reality. Okay, that's why it's so important to keep your vibration high and hold your frequency. Be happy, stay more happy often because happy people create happy things. Mm -hmm. And you have to know who you are and move in that energy of things that align with you. This is how you keep filling your cups. This is how you know that you are, uh, you can sustain yourself. You are self-sustaining. Mm -hmm. You don't need love from anyone. You are love. Mm hmm you don't need light from anyone. You are light in the darkness. Come on now. It's a conversation, baby. <laughs> I don't know who spirit is talking to. Mm -hmm. Spirit, what last words of guidance and advice do you have for the Virgo Collective? Like you haven't already said enough. Your thoughts create things. I Didn't I just say that? Didn't I just say that? Minala. I'm not lying. I don't have to. I don't have to. <laughs> I just need to be aligned. That's it, really. This is 5D. <laughs> Commit to changing your thinking habits today. Okay? Happy people create happy things. Visualize yourself succeeding and living the life you desire. Negative thought energy may be creating a block in your life. Okay, that's why spirits like think about it. Think about your life. Think about what you want for your life. Think about who you are, what you're doing, what moves you're making. Everything counts mm -hmm. from the smallest to the biggest thing. You're being guided to look at those things, to focus on your thoughts. As you ascend, as you go through your ascension process, as you move into 5D consciousness, you become aware of your thoughts, okay? Then you get to the realm of being able to observe your thoughts. That gets kind of fucked up because that's when you realize, what the fuck? I'm not my mind. I'm, I'm more than that? I'm not just my body? I, I'm more than that? It gets deep. But those are for other conversations. Those are for other conversations. Spirit wants you to focus on what you want rather than what you don't want, Virgo. Thoughts are things. Stay positive. 
and continue to raise your vibration to a higher frequency now. Happy people create happy things. Happy people have happy lives. Okay? Focus on your happiness. Yours, not anyone else's. Not what anyone says it should be, what you want for yourself. That's why some of you, you got um, to be aware of false gurus. I'm hearing false prophets. You know, people try to tell you how you should live your life. Or you're sovereign, eh? You're, now you're letting the Canadian come out. You're sovereign. You decide that for yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have freedom. It's free will here. And free will is not just for a certain, a certain few. It should be for everybody. Mm -hmm. It's not a con convenient free will. Oh, it's for this group and, and you got to do what you're told. No, it doesn't work like that. It's a universal law. That means it's for everybody. Okay? You know what I'm hearing? Um, Beyonce, bigger. Mm -hmm. Life is your birthright. They hit that in the fine print. So take a pen and rewrite it. Step out your estimate. Step in your essence and know that you're excellent. Right. Come on, man. Virgo, don't get me started, you know. I love these conversations. I love these higher conversations. Okay. Virgo, I'm going to drop the mic right there, okay? I'm going to drop the mic right there because I got to get to uh, Capricorn next, okay? And I feel like I could talk to you for a minute. I'm loving, I'm loving your energy. Mm -hmm. We are really having a conversation. I like this. Okay, Virgo, this is what I have for you. If any of this resonates, smash that like button. If not, that's cool. Another time. With that being said, you have yourself a fantastic, fantastic morning, noon, or night. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.